Leo musicians, it's Kim Enchantress here to do your music reading for April 2024. So we'll begin, guys. I've chosen the moon card as artists of all kinds for all you musicians out there. And I want to thank you for stopping by. And also, if you're a newcomer, thank you. I'm trying to get these messages out to across the globe and give a bit of guidance where it's needed from spirit. So you know, do share and like and subscribe to this channel to build it up. And um, we'll see how we go. So we've got the writer here as your focus here. So we do have Mercury in retrograded Aries in April. Uh, so it could mean, you know, you're waiting for messages that are not coming through. We've got the diviner here. So this could be a spiritual message. The tree is also related to family. So it could be not your blood family, but the family you've chosen for your music. We've got the crossroads here, Libra Energy. Uh, you know, making decisions. You've got a choice to make with this message or visitor. And you've got the tower, which can be an independent business that you have. So let's see how it unfolds for you, Leo. So I do believe this month is going to be spiritually, emotionally charged for you. You're going to, you know, start to realise how patient you've become. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Waiting for people that are coming in and out of your life. You know, you want to get your music on the road. You want to start climbing the ladder. But, you know, you've been patient waiting for others. And it's usually how it goes in the music industry. But now recognition is approaching there's a message that is coming through that you've received through your dreams and you're being shown the way and acknowledging that you have other options besides these people, okay? You have big dreams this month, Leo, and you're not going to let anyone stand in the way of it. You're starting to spiritually awaken through messages and options to be ambitious with the uh, tower here. But you've got to start your own independent music business is what I'm feeling. If you haven't already, you're feeling bored with um, boring music on the scene, boring bands on the scene, scene, or you, you know, this is maybe what your act has been lately is becoming boring to you. So you're putting up with your second choice. Now, bearing a tradition that once was and acting indecisively, you're going to receive information from sort of corporate company or corporate body there's going to be choices over official matters this month and you're going to decide to stand out from the crowd no matter what or perhaps you may choose to, to go alone in your music so it definitely is up to you now under the deck we have a man and we have the star so this could be an Aquarius man we have Virgo Libra and Aquarius in this reading so you know maybe you are a famous man who's intuitive, who has a lot of mysteries and ideas. Knowing what your goals are here, Leo, and acting on them, you're going to clearly see where you want to go. Now, this is a man's dreams. This man's very hopeful and wants to be famous, so I'm feeling it's you. Now, Mercury Retrograde begins in Aries, and Retrograde kicks off. This one, um, sort of occurs in, in Aries, so watch out for fights, irritability and frustrations this month. You've got to just try and focus the extra energy and put it into you know, um, productivity in your music and take the initiative of something you want. Maybe this is um, something that's come around as a second chance for you as well. So um, on the third, we have the moon entering Aquarius. And um, this is the star. So there can be changes that need to be made and you can focus on how to best go about them this month, Leo. I do um, know we've got... Uh, on the 13th, we've got the moon in Cancer. So you've got to take care of your emotional needs, you know, more... You support yourself, the more stable and secure you'll feel. You know, don't go into that cancerian energy shell. 
you got the moon entering Aquarius on the 30th. And this is about thinking about your future and what you'd love to achieve. So focus on ways that it, um, it can be possible for you to get there. Now I've just added up these numbers here and they add up to 160. So for money and career, it's a very powerful message for you this month here. It is reminding you to have confidence in your abilities, trust the path that you're on, and it's also representing the importance of balance between your work and personal life. It indicates that success is definitely on its way. And it's just a reminder that new opportunities and growth in your career and financial life are coming your way here, Leo. And um, also the 160 is a message of growth and development in personal and spiritual journey. And we've got the two spiritual cards at the beginning here. So it represents new beginnings, leadership, spiritual growth. And this number, 160, reminds you to have confidence in your abilities, trust in new opportunities, and growth is definitely on the horizon. So listen to that inner voice and um, trust your intuition this month. It's going to guide you towards your divine purpose and your angels are with you, supporting you and leading you along your journey. So this is going to be success and spiritual enlightenment for you. So sending lots of uh, love, positive energy, and um, remember to follow those dreams, Leo. Lots of love. Bye for now.